Meteorologist Adam Stiles, cold air area is on the move. We had a little rain turn over to a little bit of snow, and most of it's now pushed off toward the east and to the south. Let's take a look at the potential setup here for the night tonight. So that uh, wet pavement that we do have could potentially become icy as those temperatures are starting to drop off around the area. So use caution as you're heading out tonight. We have a weather advisory encompassing the same thought, mainly across the north end of the GTA, but we could still see some of those slippery spots here toward the south. The wind is starting to pick up, though, which is usually a pretty good sign. And that will evaporate a lot of the moisture that's on the roadways and dry things out. Now, on the radar, you can see there is a little bit of moisture that is off toward the east. I'm going to circle all of this stuff because that's all just junk getting picked up by the radar. We don't have great radars here uh, in southern Ontario. I'll be 100% honest with you. They need to be updated. It's in the works, but it's going to be a couple of years, so you're going to be dealing with some crappy data for a while. Uh, taking a look at the Futurecast model, there is a little bit of the flurry activity and the lake effect snow squalls down toward the Grand Bend area and in toward Pinery Park. Outside of that, it's just going to be a partly cloudy sky here in Toronto, cooler winds, and then we'll get a shift in the wind on Thursday, and those temperatures, they are going to rise. We'll start the day off uh, with our temperatures. Oops, sorry about that. That should be minus 8 in the morning. We will see some sunshine there, minus 5 by midday and then into the afternoon. Temperatures topping out at minus 4, wind chill expected near minus 10. So minus 10 to minus 16, wind chill wise during the day tomorrow. Minus 4 in the forecast there for Wednesday and Thursday. We will see a little bit more sunshine on Thursday. As we get into the day on Friday, temperatures are going to be climbing up to about 4 degrees. So we're going to go from that freeze cycle back into a thaw for a couple of days. Then we'll keep an eye on some wet weather as we go late into the day on Saturday. Temperatures will be topping out at 6 degrees. That rain's not going to be a huge deal. It looks to be a pretty weak system as it rolls through. Temperatures staying above the freezing mark for Sunday morning. Sunday afternoon, we're up to about 4 degrees. And then we'll get into some colder air late in the day on Sunday. That colder air is going to lead, uh, linger into the first part of next week. Overnight low temperatures getting down to that minus 12 to minus 10 range as we go Monday night into Tuesday. So uh, freeze, thaw, freeze, and then I think we'll thaw out a little bit, and then we're going to get back into some much colder air, and the early indications are that February looks to be a fairly cold month. It's getting cold out here right now. We'll continue to track the temperature drop and have an updated forecast tonight at 11.